and the Daytona International Speedway. We were there for Bike Week 1990. While covering the Harley-Davidson twin sports race on the Daytona road course, number 143, Sean Higby got a nasty oscillation going in his front wheel, and this is what happened. Watch the top of your screen. Racers call this a tank slapper. In replay, we can see that Sean Higby got the front wheel bouncing uncontrollably. Anyone who has ever ridden even a bicycle knows how that feels, and grabbing for the brakes makes it even worse. Fortunately, Sean went face first into the grass instead of the track. All the same, ooh, that had to smart. Then in the same race, it was number 94, Will Roeder, getting off in a hurry and not on the grass. Ugh. If Will can be said to be fortunate, it was that none of the other bikes hit him as he sat collecting his thoughts in the apex of the turn. He had to be hurting after landing on his shoulder with that much force. Let's see if we can tell what happened to Will Roeder. It looks as if the rear wheel broke loose as he accelerated off the turn. Then he overcorrected with the front wheel, causing the bike to catapult him off with unbelievable force. Luckily, the other riders were alert enough to avoid him as they passed. 